Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 7th grade concept of Attributes of Similarity. This is Standard 7.5a in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 19, which is a new item type called Multiple Select, off the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have multiple select, meaning that we need two correct answers. So if we try to just select one, we are going to get a warning that says you have not selected everything you need to. And if we select two, you see even as we try, we can't get a third one. So we, we really just want to focus on two here. And we have two quadrilaterals that are similar. So let me go ahead and just draw uh, two quadrilaterals. Let's make some parallelograms here. So. I'm going to try to draw a little tiny parallelogram like this. Then I'm going to draw one that's a little bit bigger, and I want to make them similar. So I'm going to make it about twice the size. All right, so these two parallelograms are going to be our examples here. So what does this mean when we've got similar quadrilaterals? Well, that means they are proportional we can compare the side lengths and we can put them in a ratio and each of the side lengths are going to be rational are going to be proportional and we can describe them in a ratio but this first answer choice right here congruent that's the other big term that we need to keep in mind so if similar uh, similar squares similar rectangles i just chose parallelograms because it's a quadrilateral that we don't know what type of quadrilateral they are if they're proportional, that means they're the same shape and their sides are proportional, but they're not always going to be the exact same size. That's what congruent means. So this is exact. This is the same size, same shape. They're identical, basically. Okay, so the corresponding side to the quadrilateral must be congruent. No, these two are proportional sides. And you notice that I drew the green one. Uh, half as big as the blue one, right? This one is, is twice as long in regards to the side lengths. So that's not going to work because they're proportional, but they're not necessarily congruent. Let's look at the second choice. The opposite sides of the quadrilaterals must be congruent. Uh, no, not necessarily because, look at that's two and this one's four. Uh, I'm not sure why they would think the opposite sides would be congruent. Now, what are congruent are the angles. So if they talk to me about angles, that could work. There we go. Look at that third one. The corresponding angles of the quadrilateral must be congruent. So that is one thing that happens with similarity. Okay, so this little angle right here in the top right, as long as it's oriented in the same way, is the exact same or congruent no matter how big this gets. Right, even if I were to... Uh, make it that much larger, right? If I were to, to go, uh, let's see, connect line right here. Watch. I'm going to go one, two, three, and then that much bigger. So this is now triple the size of the original. But as we see here, the angles are exactly the same. Doesn't matter how much bigger you get, the angles stay congruent. That's the cool thing about proportional shapes, is the angles always stay congruent, even this big obtuse angle is the exact same no matter how much bigger it gets. Angles don't change, it's the side lengths that change. Uh, so that's a definite yes right there. So we need one more. The corresponding angles of the quadrilaterals must be right angles, not necessarily. I could have drawn some squares or some rectangles if I wanted to, but I didn't. Obviously, there's no right angles here, so let's hope it's our last one. The corresponding side lengths, there we go, must be proportional. So that's that key word that we're looking for. The side lengths need to be proportional. So this side length right here is proportional to that one, is proportional to that one. Whereas the slanted ones are each going to be proportional to each other. So the angles are congruent, whereas the side lengths are proportional. That's what it means to have similar shapes. So my answer here are the third and the fifth options.